the world. He gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now let me interpret that scripture in my own understanding. For God so loved the world. That means God has interest in the world. And he gave his only begotten son. That means he invested in what he has interest in. Now, and the Bible says, as he gave his only begotten son, he invested in what he has interest in. And he said, whoever believed in him, meaning whoever invested in what I invested, will not lose. But has profit. Now, how do I how come? How do I give out these cards? The Bible said in, in Act of Apostle Katia Matter Verse 52. He said, and the apostles were filled with joy and the Holy Ghost. Now the secret of giving out when you know where you are going and whom you are serving you will understand that giving is a commandment. Giving is not a choice but it is a secret to a next level. And you can be a child of God. When you don't know how to give, you will remain in one place. You, you will remain in one place. Now, before I go straight to my to, to my to the testimony, my Bible told me in Genesis 26, from verse 12 to 17, is that year. Isaac saw a seed. Isaac bego. Okay, thank you. He said that year. Isaac saw a seed. Isaac bego. He reaped hundredfold Akavuna mara mia. of what he saw. He became a strong waxer. And became mighty. Than the, the king of that land. Kuliko when you love, how do I know if somebody loves God so much? There is nothing you can give for him. I believe my life is for God. I feel I see it as joy to give. Because I know whatever I invested in God, I will reap it hundredfold. That is why it doesn't hurt me to give. I remember the day my pastors were doing ordination. Wakati alikuwa na fanya ordination. Pastor ordination. Eh ilikuwa na ordination ya kwanza. And I led in my spirit. Nika hizi kwa moyo wangu. For this one that is coming. Kwa huyu anayekuja. To know there is profit. Ajue kuna faida. Kwa kutumikia Mungu. I need to shock him. Nataka nimshangaze. So I'm not just a preacher. Mi si muhubiri to preach the word. Ni ubiri tu neno. But I'm also a preacher. Lakini muhubiri. Like what I see from my fathers. Kwa kile nimeona kwa mama zangu. You give out the word. Ukipeana neno. You give out the physical impartation. Unapeana vitu za kawaida. That is why you must understand. Ndio maana lazima uelewe. That giving kupeana is a commandment. Ni amri, not a choice. Si kitu ya kuchagua. The last car. Gari ya mwisho. Call them shot. The last vehicle. Gari ya mwisho. I was my 40 days indoor. Nilikuwa nimejifukia siku 40 dry fast nikiomba I don't come to church siendi kanisa au be my hotel room ni kwale pale tu kwa 40 days kwa siku 40 my pastors can only come uh, my pastor will go on, a on Sunday, every Sunday, Kilas Jumapi to check on me. Kuniangalia. Maybe that Sunday, Iyo Sunday, if I am led, Kama I can take tea. If I am not led, Kama I can take anything. Uh, In that 40 days, kwa hizo siku the Lord said to me, Mungu He said, Son, Mwana, get ready for your next level. Jitarisha kwa kiwango kigine. Give me the time is your promotion. Ukipeana unajihakikishia kuenda mbele. Giving determines your promotion. Kupeana kuna kuna dhihirisha kuendelea. Mungu akasema, I I so much love that car. Nilipenda hiyo gari sana. I I designed it to my test. Nilikuwa nimeitengeneza ikakaa kama hiyo. 
Kile kilikuwa. But the Lord said to me, son. Mungu akasema mtoto. He said, see this car is precious. Hii gari naona ni ya kifahari. He said, give me. Nipatie. And I look, it was like too heavy. Ilikuwa ngumu sana. But because I love him more than what I have. Kwa sababu naumpenda kuliko kile niko nacho. I give it. Nikaipeana. The reason why I'm here today. Kwa sababu niko hapa leo. Is because of the giving. Ni kwa sababu ya kupeana. Is because of the sacrifice. Kwa sababu ya kujitenga. And that is why I want to tell every believer. Sio nataka kuambia kila mtu. Don't be comfortable because you are safe. Usikue tu umetosheka sababu ya kuogopa. Don't be comfortable because you are a dangerous giver. Lakini uwe na furaha kwa sababu wewe ni mtu wa kupeana. If God created heaven and earth, kama Mungu aliopa pingu na nchi, and he still gives his holy begotten son. Na akapeana mwana wake wa pekee. 